welcome back. So today's video is going to be a quick little review slash first impressions on this Profusion Naturals eyeshadow palette. Um, I just got back from Target, so this well, I did my makeup, but like my hair and like outfit and stuff, that's why I'm not like all dressed up because I literally just got back and I needed to film a video with this as soon as possible because it just, it just really caught my eye and it looks amazing. <laughs> Personally, I've never heard of Profusion before and when I was at Target, they had like this whole little back section of like eyeshadow palettes and a few like metal matte liquid lipsticks and stuff like that. So. I, it just really caught my eye and the packaging was really nice and it is super affordable. This palette right here was only $10. And the rest of the stuff on the display ranged from like $5 to $12. Like it was so cheap. So if you want to see what kind of look I will create with this and my thoughts on this, then just keep watching. But before that, make sure you subscribe because it would just, I mean, how awesome would that be to just watch my videos all the time? Like, I, I mean, personally, I feel like that would be just the best Christmas gift ever. So if you could just subscribe and then let's just get on with the video. So a little bit of background about this palette. Um, I'm looking on the Profusion Cosmetics website and there are so many eyeshadow palettes. Um, but this one ranges, well, this one is $10, like I said. And it says it's a 24 deluxe collection eyeshadow and high impact neutral to natural bold colors to light up your eyes, blah, 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 ultra blendable, rich textures. Okay. So pretty much, you know, what every palette claims. Um, they did have this one, which is the naturals. And then they also had a sultry one. And the sultry one had um, like some bluer shades in it and like some greens and stuff. But personally, this one was the one that caught my eye and just the one that I feel like I would use like on a regular basis. And it comes with this really nice eyeshadow brush. So this is what the brush looks like. Please don't mind my nails. I know they're really bad. But it's a dual ended brush. One side has a shader brush and the other side is a blending brush. And it just seems like really, really nice quality. And so I'm definitely going to be trying that out with the palette today just to see how it works and if it sheds and like that kind of stuff. So using this brush that it comes with, I am going to go in, I'm gonna mix sugar and silky, sugar and silky right here, and put that on my lid all over um, just for a nice base. Okay, that's a lot more white than I thought it would be, so let's just go in with silky. Um, okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing a ton a fallout like a ton of fallout and usually that doesn't bother me but like I don't know it's just a, it's a lot so I feel like you have to tap off before you go in but that's I mean that's fine actually let me zoom you in there now you can see a little bit better okay so continuing with silky I don't know if you can see that I mean that's a lot <laughs> All right, so the coverage looks to be pretty good. I mean, like the shade, like how it covers up and just makes everything like one shade. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. I don't know how I feel about this brush though. So. We're going to move on to the crease shade. And I think I'm going to use Outgoing. This is the shade Outgoing right here. We're gonna use that in our crease. And see, okay, not as much fallout on that brown shade. All right, this blends pretty easily. Not bad. Yeah, I would definitely say that this is a type of palette that you're gonna have to make sure you tap off the excess before you go into your eye. Especially if you're using like the darker shades in the palette because it's just gonna be a mess, girl. It's gonna get all over your face. <laughs> that is what outgoing looks like, blended. I think it's pretty nice, like not too bad. Um, yeah, not, I mean, this seems like it's a good quality brush, but not my favorite so we're gonna just 
just move on from that. Um, okay, so now I feel like I want to go in with a darker shade in the crease. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go in with Outspoken. Outspoken is right here, right underneath Outgoing. And I think I'm gonna put that right in my crease, like directly in my crease. Oh wow, that's actually more pigmented than I thought it would be. That's pretty. And these blend really nicely on the eye and then also obviously on the eye, that's where I am. <laughs> that's where eyeshadow is good. And that color is really pigmented. I'm super surprised. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it out and put that on my outer corner as well. That's really pigmented. I'm very impressed. This shade kind of reminds me of something out of a Morphe palette. Like how it has the red undertones. I told myself I wasn't going to do like a really smoky look, but I mean, that's just, this is it's just going that way. We're just going there anyway. I'm going back in without going and just going to blend everything out very lightly. Yeah, this brush is a ton better. I feel like that, that one that it came with was just like, it was too stiff. These are actually blending out really nicely and very easily. Now I feel like I want to go in with a shimmery shade to see how that works out because most of the time in drugstore eyeshadow palettes, shimmery shades are a no-go for me. I just do not like them and they're not pigmented at all. So. I think I'm gonna keep it a little bit light and go with Chatty. Chatty right here. We're gonna go with this one. And I may mix in a little bit of Excited just in case that one's like super stark, but we'll see. Okay, Chatty, let's see. It's more pigmented than I thought it would be. It's not the prettiest shade ever but it is, more, it is like a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. I will give it that. I'm thinking I just, it's not that it's an ugly shade. I'm thinking I just want something different. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Excited just to make it a little bit more golden. Didn't, didn't do much. Okay, I mean, it's okay. Eh, I've had better. I think I'm gonna leave the top like this and just move on to the bottom. So I am going to take Outspoken, that reddish brown that we used in the outer corner and a little bit in the crease. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that out with Outgoing. That brownish shade that we used in our crease to begin with. So this is what the finished eyeshadow looks like. I actually, I like it. I don't know if I'm in love with it only because of these shimmer shades. Um, actually, let me swatch a couple of these. And they're just not the most pigmented shades, like, at all. I'll show you which ones I swatched, and I'll show you the swatches. I swatched Pixie, Talented, and Thoughtful. And, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So, the first one, which you can barely see, is Pixie. And then you've got Talented and Thoughtful. So, not that pigmented at all and I'm kind of disappointed in that but the matte shades are really nice and that is usually how it goes in drugstore palettes with my experience so that is okay um I am definitely still going to use this and I will keep using it and see if my opinions change um about this brush would not I mean unless you just don't have a lot of brushes to use 
I would probably just skip out on this honestly because it's just way too like dense for me um, it may be good to like get right in the crease but like to just do all over blending and stuff I just feel like it's too dense and it's it doesn't like it's not as fluffy as I want it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the rest of my eyes and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts before we leave all right so I'm back with mascara and everything on all I did was add mascara and then do some eyeliner and I actually went in with cozy I went in with cozy right here and put that on my upper lash line and kind of like lined my eyes with it um, so I actually really like how that turned out so my final thoughts on this palette is that I think it's definitely worth the buy and it's worth the try and it is worth ten dollars the color range is very nice the mattes are on point very blendable very pigmented and not as much fallout as the um, like the darker mattes don't have as much fallout as the lighter mattes which is weird the shimmery shades are good for the price um, but I definitely have better shades in my collection I would probably just use this only for the matte shades and then use shimmer elsewhere just to get that more pop of color that I want or you can actually use fix plus or anything like that to try and see if these will make just a little bit more of a pop um, but overall I really enjoyed this palette I think that it was really easy to work with and that it was just a really really pretty palette and I cannot wait to dive in to a more right here and just like the more warmer shades and see what kind of looks like in here I can create with that so I really really like this palette I think that you should pick it up especially if you haven't ever tried anything from this brand just to see if you like it because they have a ton in Target and actually even more online all right so I really hope that y'all enjoyed this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what else you'd like to see um, down in the comments or you can message me I don't think I have anything else left to say so I hope that y'all have a good week or weekend whenever you're watching this and I will see y'all in my next video bye y'all